What is up, YouTube? We are back with another video. Tomorrow, we got the new Conference Stories Part 2 program. Right, this is what it is. The training pack's 300 for that for that pack. We've done a few openings of it. It's not a very great reroll, honestly. And the card we know so far, we have a, there's an 85 receiver. He has 84 speed. He's 6'2". Then we have some LTD left tackle. Right now, I have that comes out tomorrow. Right now... What you're looking at, the market is looking like, market is extremely high right now. Like, LTDs are, looks like LTDs are really good investments this year again. I mean, just a couple of days ago, I was able to get a, a Jalen Ramsey for under 400k. And he's up to 640. Randy Moss yesterday was on 600k. Like, that, that's crazy. Also, you got Luther Burden now going over his, over his cap. And you also have go to your 89 halfback. You also have Jukins over now. Over his Quixa value. Market is changing quickly. But. The way. The best. Things is the best way. The best methods for tomorrow. To make lots of coins. Is going to be. Honestly. There's going to be two methods probably. Two main methods tomorrow. So if we look at conference stories. We know. There's 80s. There's 81s. We have 82s, we have our 83s, these 83s are really expensive, then we have our 85s. What we have to expect is, make sure you, like, do not, you cannot buy these, they don't prepare by buying these 83s for stuff, don't do it, it's not worth, it's, it's not worth trying to like, pre-build sets to try to get lucky. These are already a 78k for the 83 overalls, which is not going to be that much. I would assume. Because that's a lot. If it's if those if there's 70k, you said cost can cost 280 to make, and there's no way the champions are going for 280. I mean the receiver could go for 300, but there's no way it's gonna be overall 280. But what do you want to make sure you look tomorrow? When you're flip when you're trying to flip, the best flipping things will be the 80 to 81s and the A283s. Flipping will be cracked out again. It'll be crazy, like like how Legends was, how old alumni were. Every time there's been a promo drop, flipping has went crazy, crazy, crazy. The market crashes. You buy up everything there in day. Go once nighttime hits. It all your like all your bigger cards go skyrocket normally. But your eighty overalls, um, your eight like all your unfiltered prices is really really high in the morning once content comes out. But then you'll have like some of these like random cards, like some of these random core cards will they'll be so they'll, they'll be so low in price, then they'll eventually skyrocket back in price because people need the cards back. But what do you want to look for? So let's see, say for example now, these cards are 13k. These 80 overall, that's unfiltered price. That's what you want to check. When content comes out, you look at the one filter price. You look at 13k, okay. New program is gonna conference stories. I don't know what positions the 80 overalls are gonna be. But, let's just sort by right guard example right now. These cards are technically 14k right now. So they're over the price of what the price is. But, people are opening rerolls because it's a 300 training reroll. A really, really cheap reroll. The packs can cost 18k per. You buy training for cheapest. Someone's on my screen for some reason. I don't know what they're doing. But, what you want to do is you want to go filter by, by the position, the 8081, conference stories. If there's for some reason two cards on the same filter, you can go to catalog. And search up individually, like how we did for Legends. And then you buy all these 80s, and you just buy them for quick sell because people are going to spam post them up for 7,200 coins. Same thing for the other, like, like, uh, same thing for the other 80. Then there's going to be the 81s, we have, the eighty ones we have. You can, uh, I don't know, I don't even know where the other 81 is for comfort stories. I think it might be 10, maybe 10? Um... But the 81s, you can also buy for 12k if you want to. I mean, they might not be as good as the 80s, but you can still buy them, flip them back. But main thing is, buy 80s, you do two things with 80s. You can either sell them back. You I would say this is what you should do with 80s. Sell back most of them back for unfiltered price. Unfiltered price might not be 13k, it might be 14, 15, 16k. Be some flood mark will be. But if you don't want to do that, if you want to take a more risk, and let's say if you have... Like 70, 80 80s up, you don't have much space left. If you want, take a risk. 
You can do this this pack right here. This 82 to 83 overall pack. It costs 480. So the pack it costs 28,800 if you buy 480 for quick sell value. There might be I don't I don't I think there will be a a, a decrease in the uh, price cap. The price cap there probably won't be, but if there is, you have to still you have to look at the market, look at the changes before you do anything. Then you make the pack, get A283. You look at this filter, look at unfiltered for A2s. If it's a bad A, if it's a cheap A2, put up the unfiltered price at like 28, 29k, whatever it is, whatever it is currently. Once you're actually doing that, when you're doing it, the, if you pull bad A3, you'll look up here. You see, card's going for 39k, he's posted for 39k, 38k, around that range. But you also have to check the market before you do it. Check it, make sure. The market is either if it makes check if it's more expensive, the same, cheaper. These market changes a lot throughout the course of the day. The morning will be way different than the night. It's just how the game works right now. It's a very drastic change right now. You could also another big flipping thing, big flipping thing tomorrow. A two to A threes, which I didn't figure out for legends, but until the very end. Legends went crazy for flipping A3s because how flooded the market were was. You see these cards going for 80k right now. Conf so conference stories. These conference story program cards will be going more for the than the regular cards. People are rewinding to do the 85 set to try to get the champions and gamble on the champions. So just for example right here, you see this card for 80k. The market might be so flooded that there's just these cards are there's 20 minutes left in these cards and the newest card. It's 20 minutes, and you, even if you filter, like you're just, let's just say you go over here, like so you go A2, A3 from the auction house, it says they're 80k, it says 80k with 20 minutes left, because the market's so flooded, you go over here, go to the sets, you look at it, in case you missed it, 83s, and you see they're 77, okay. not, not in case you missed it, it's the other program, you know, conference stories. You know what I mean? If if this conference story is a 75k, with like, I don't know, with whatever how much time's left on it, of 35 minutes, 40 minutes, then you can sort go either you can go into catalog, and sort by just that player, and find them for cheaper, find them for 60, 50, 40k, and they get big flips. I didn't like legends, legends yesterday, I. I checked them at the, I checked them like a couple, I checked them like three, like three, four hours after they came out. Bro, you were able to make 8k a snipe three to four hours after. And there was just like, so they, they were going, you could sell the cards for like 67k. And it was like, you just would go in the auction house and they, all the cards for 50k, when you start by just for one card, was literally just lined up like this. It just be lined up like this. Obviously like 59 minutes or whatever, 58, 57 minutes. But they're just all 50k, just chilling. They're just all chilling there for seven AK flips a pop. It was one of the nicest things I've ever seen. You know, at easy 160k an hour. Like, it was probably more than two, probably two to three, four to hundred, two to four hundred k profit an hour on Legend yesterday. If you were doing that, that's at least that's what it looked like. So make sure. Just to recap on what we've been talking about. Make sure when you get on the game. You check out your 80 to 81 overalls. Check your unfiltered price. Check your filtered price. Like check, then you want to get them for cheapest. You could sell some sell some 80s you get for back in the auction for the unfiltered price. Or and then if you have some leftover and you don't have any more room in the auction house, you can do the A2 to A3 exchange pack and try it. And then the A2s get that cheap A2s. Sell them for sell them for the unfiltered. A3s that are cheap, sell them for unfiltered. And the rest is just sell them whatever they actually go for. Make sure you look up every single one of the cards. And also, I don't know what this dude's doing clicking my screen, but you, when you're flipping, make sure you look at A2s, like they're 28K, that's 28K, see. You go sort by position. You sort by wide receiver. This is actually one position that's more expensive. But then you see the card, let's just say this dude's 21K, 22K, because that's what the program card will be. Or like they might be 19k. Like Legends yesterday, they were going, they were getting thrown for 19k when they're going for 30k. You buy the card, scoop it up, sell it back, easy profit. Just do it over and over and over again. You can make honestly, you can make a million, two million coins tomorrow if you do it all day. Like 
I'm gonna like my I'm gonna do a 24 hour challenge making a million coins. That's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow for a video. If you guys want, I'm 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 gonna guess you guys want that. I think it's a pretty I think it's gonna be a pretty cool thing, little challenge for for me. Because just to prove that, just to show you guys on how easy it is to make coins in this game right now. But make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.